Hi everyone, my name is CJ and welcome to another episode of CJ Here Talks in the Car. I'm happy you're here. Now let's get started with the conversation. Okay, for today's topic, we are going to talk about growing back your edges. And I wanted to mention the different ways that we lose our hair, especially around the edges of our head, whether it can be at the top, you know, to the side or at the back, just at that, the, the lining of your hair, your hairline. And this, I believe, is so popular among the natural hair community. And uh, I think it's just something that happens over time. I had mentioned in a previous episode about alopecia and, uh, you know, that mainly traction alopecia, which comes from tension. So I was talking about tension and related it to um, traction alopecia. And I wanted to mention and talk about more about when you lose hair around your edges, you know, the reasons for it and what you can start doing to get back your hairline and um, get your edges growing again. All right. Um, So one of the biggest things for me, I think... Losing your hairline or hair on your hairline happens, I would say, after doing something on a consistent basis over a particular time, right? Sometimes it doesn't happen right away. Now, there have been situations where if someone really does a severely tight hairstyle, there is a possibility or a greater possibility for them to lose hair almost immediately. Like I had that experience where I got my hair braided, but I think it was just too tight. And what happened was I, you know, when I did take it out, a piece of the hair <laughs> was in the braids. And that wasn't really wonderful to see, but that can happen as well. No, tension is such a big thing. Um, I I dedicated an entire episode to tension because I wanted, um, you know, you guys to understand that having tension with your hair, it's only bringing harm. Our strands try to survive every day to live and to grow and to breed. You know, when we choose to add tension or weight or additional manipulation things that our hair will not benefit from it's only going to be negative and instead of seeing our hair flourish and grow we actually see our hair start to break it's more damaged and we're just not getting what we desire from our hair and our hair care journey right no I'm going to really try to dive deep with, you know, when doing your hair, what not to do. Now, if the goal is to, and I'm going to talk about preventing, and I'm going to talk about, okay, if it has already happened, what you need to do now to get it back. So if your hair line has not gone, that's awesome. I want you to start preventing it from ever even going again or even there is there is no prospect of it going right so I want you to start avoiding styles that are tension based if you are doing whether it is cornrows if you are doing if you're doing cornrows if you are doing single braids if you are doing crochet braids that's onto a cornrow that's with a protective style whatever you are doing if it is going to involve you really um combing your hair tightly from the root or the hairline chances are you're gonna lose hair 
and for some it takes a while before you actually start seeing it for others it can be immediate it depends on um, how much pressure and how much tension you're here experience at any time no I know there's a concept of sleek and neat tight right you know the 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 it has to be everything I have to get every strand of hair strand of hair but that's not the way to go if it is that you want to keep your hair if it's that you want to keep your hairline right and I will say if you start seeing your hairline receding if you start seeing your hair getting thinner or your the the the, your hair has been breaking off from um, your edges if you start seeing that um, that's an indication for you to quit whatever you're doing you have to evaluate okay what am I doing what have I done to my hair why is it that my hair has been receding and you're trying to try you know go back to whatever the practices were or whatever styles you've been doing and you can trace back to say to kind of find out okay what's going on here and change it right the problem is we sometimes make excuses that we have to get our hair done um, we have to do a style and uh, that's just what the stylist does and uh, yeah, I want my hair to be I want my hair to look good and we compromise the health and well-being of our hair you know because um, you know maybe taking advice from the wrong people and just not being conscious enough to say this is not good whatever I'm doing I'm not doing something good for my hair and that's why I always roll it back to how do you think and feel about your hair because if you think and feel about your hair well you won't do things that hurt your hair you just won't because that's not a part of who you are and what you think you know what we think becomes what we do right and so if we start to think well and think great thoughts about our hair automatically it begins to change how we choose to do things that serve our hair well right so tension is really important and identifying once your hair starts to recede just take a pause stop doing what you are doing and start to make some changes right now you can do braids you can do different styles I did crochet braids all the time but I never did did my cornrows tight enough um, for my head to hurt or for my edges to be gone when I take out the crochet braids so there's no need for me to do that and I still had great styles that lasted me so that's not the question whether or not it's going to work or look good right now another thing too sometimes even the weight of your hair of the protective style on your hair your hair just can't handle it you know say for example you do braids and you you put, you do braids and they're small right but the amount of braids that you use on your edges you know may be heavy right you may also do braids and this there's just a lot of manipulation with styling right and eventually eventually your hair just really can't handle it can't handle it so I would suggest that if you are now experiencing hair loss your hairline receding you have to you have to do a, a check you have to figure out what's going on why this is happening and how best you can resolve it right it's it's what's important 
And if you're able to do that, trust me, you'll begin to start seeing the changes that you desire over time because you start making different decisions. All right. Now, another thing, if you have, if you, as I said, if you are experiencing the receding line, if your edges have already been broken off, if they have not been growing, all right, here's a quick tip that you can start doing. I've talked earlier about scalp massage, but it's, it's such a wonderful thing to do because what's happening, you need your blood to start circulating and you need a way to get your blood circulating in the different areas of your head so that your hair begins to grow. You want to um, work on your scalp so that your hair will grow. So I encourage doing a scalp massage every day. Now if wherever the hair loss is, you're going to get some oil and it can be any oil of choice. But if it is hair loss, I would recommend Jamaican black castor oil because it has some really great growth properties as well. And also, I would say you could also use shea butter in your hair shea butter soothes your scalp and you know as you do the massage you're gonna be massaging all the time it's on the ball of your finger that's the base you put the oil on it or you put the oil on the on the area it's in a circular motion you are going to be putting the oil and doing a scalp massage on those areas. Wherever it is, if it's at the side, if it's at the front, if it's at the back, wherever it is, start doing that, all right? So things to avoid, tension, weight, um, tension, consistent tension too, as that's what I mean. Consistent tension, consistent weight. These are things to avoid. And, uh, you know, choosing no to choose different styles that will help. Um, there's also the place of if you, if you're using heat, some people's hair break off if they um, straighten their hair too much or if they blow it out too much or if they use a flat iron or, a, you know, hot comb. I've seen that recently. Whatever it is, just remember your hair needs your care. And it needs your attention all right so work on that and it's a journey and listen that's the process we all make mistakes all of us we all make mistakes but the biggest thing that we can do is that we can change and if we can change then our hair will change along with the positive changes that we make in our in our hair care journey all right thanks so much for listening and remember check out the playlist of the different topics that i've talked about and i think it will be really of great help to you and as i said just be encouraged take it one step at a time and know that having a healthy hair care journey is definitely possible all right have a great one. Bye-bye.